Well, if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you know that I went to bed pretty late. It was around three o'clock in the morning. So I gave myself some time to sleep. I think my nieces came around nine-ish to wake me up. So I did some cuddly time with them. And then they, you know, they have different kinds of toys when they're up in my room. Um, but then we went for breakfast with the whole family. And then I did some more <laughs> playful time with my nieces because it just felt right. Today's a holiday in Germany, so um, they don't have to go to kindergarten. So we spent some time together because I knew that they were going to leave for lunch because I didn't want to, I didn't feel like going out for lunch. I, I've been wanting to do a special soup for myself. So um, they they took off for lunch and I did, um, yeah, I so I wanted to wait for them to leave, but <laughs> as always, you get caught up. I sat down just real quick, a couple of minutes until everybody's out of the house to do a little bit of my taxes, to, you know, clean a little bit my drive, because, you know, whenever I have recordings on my laptop, um, clean those up, edit a video. Oh no, let's edit the second one as well. <laughs> and now it's already almost one, no, it is 1.30. Um, so I'm finally here in the kitchen ready to do my my lunch. Um, the cleansing thingy that I did yesterday is already there. I'll blend in the, you'll see here the way it looks. I already brought it to the bathroom. It's, you can see how it looks a little bit darker. That's because of the cinnamon and the cloves that I put in there. Um, you know, if you don't use those dark uh, things it's not gonna get that dark I think it would have gotten a little darker because of the um, uh, because of the mint that I put in as well but yeah so that's that's the part that is there and it's waiting for me because I need to have lunch first um, so I'm going to make my soup and then I'm going to go and do my cleansing ritual I'll tell you a little bit more about it later All right, so now I'm ready for, you know, my soup, my wonderful soup is simmering by itself. And I'm ready to go and do my, my cleansing ritual while my soup is being done because I, I love, you know, doing this um, cleansing ritually and then, you know, having something cozy warm to eat. That's going to be wonderful. Um, so just for you to know what I'm going to be doing, that's why I'm stepping with you into my bathroom. So I'm switching the camera. So you already saw this. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because I'm living in cold, a colder area, and right now this bathroom is actually, I mean, we're not heated yet, but still not, you know, we don't need heating, but it's not warm enough, you know, to be. So if I would have this, you know, standing overnight or for a couple of hours under a candle, this would be very, very cold. So what I'm going to do is once I finish, you know, with my whole cleansing, you know, shower, basically normal basic shower things, um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to um, add warm water to this up here, probably up to here, actually, like really, you know, make it because this is very concentrated. So I'm going to fill it up up to here and then I'm going to have, you know, and then I'm going to say I'm going to say something like um, I'm invoking, you know, my spirit guides, my helpers, my, you know, the energy surrounding me. And within this bowl, I ask you to take away all negativity that is not with me, that doesn't, that is not necessary anymore, that I don't need anymore to take away anything that um, yeah, doesn't serve me anymore. Thank you very much to the universe and everything. Take a moment, take a deep breath, and then take that whole bowl with everything it's containing and drop it over my head so that it, you know, it flows and it, you know, like it takes away. And you really feel like the petals and, you know, the, the mint leaves, you feel them, you know, falling down. And then that's the other thing, again, with the cold, um, and then you would usually, like if I would be in a warm place, you know, I would take a moment to let that, um, all of that sink in, you know, dry by itself. But because we're, you know, I'm in a colder place and 
if I would be doing that, it will, you know, shivering and maybe it will get cold. So we don't want to do that. So what I do is I wait a moment so that it does sink into my body. I take a moment, a breather to, to, you know, feel into that energy. And then what I do is instead of rubbing it off with, with, uh, with my towel is that I'm going to do, how do you call that? Like tupfen. The German word is tupfen. I don't remember the English word for it, but it's basically like patting it off. So you can take away the leaves. Like if you have leaves on your shoulders or in your hair, you're allowed to, you know, just brush it off of you. Um, and then, um, yeah, just, you know, leave it there. Dry yourself, you know, a little bit softly and then put on your clothes and that's it. That's basically not very hard to do, but I love doing it very intentionally. So that's why I'm taking a moment right now to do that. Very intentional, I'm going to shower, you know, and having that cleanse and then doing that. Oh, and if you're wondering, of course, all the leaves that drop and, you know, the cloves and everything that's going to be in uh, the shower, I'm gonna collect it and, you know, give it back to nature as a thank you for all the support and for it to transform back. We have a wonderful um, compost back in the backyard, so I'll give it back to nature over there so that it can return into the whole you know, cycle of nature. Yeah, that's the whole cleansing. And I wanted to do it last night because of course, you know, I, the, why I wanted it to be earlier is because of course I'm gonna wash my hair and you know, and, and afterwards I like, I don't like drying my hair. So I, and especially after something like this, so at least my hair has to dry by itself. And if I would have done it last night at, what was it, 9.30, almost 10 by the time I finished dinner, it would have, you know, I would have had wet hair for a bed and I don't want to do that. So right now it's lunchtime, you know, my lunch is simmering. So I'm going to do this and do this very intentional for myself. Maybe I'll add a little salt, salt, sea salt. One last, I always have sea salt next to the shower um, because you're not know, doing big cleansings. What I do is I put a little bit of sea salt on my hands, you know, and rub it on my neck and on my shoulders. And you know, and when I shower, I let the salt take away, you know, all the daily stuff. But I also like doing a very thorough cleansing like the one that I just showed you for, you know, new moons or maybe, maybe sometimes even full moons. You know, so we're going to do that. <laughs> this is what the shower looks like afterwards. So I'm just going to pick all of this up and bring it outside. So finalizing the day um, after I did the whole cleansing, of course, I allowed myself to have this wonderful soup all relaxed. And then actually I felt like I wanted to take a nap, but realized it was already I don't know, after, you know, cleaning the kitchen and everything, it was already five o'clock or something. And we had our wonderful challenge meeting from the YouTube challenge that I'm still doing as well, which was incredible. It was beautiful, beautiful insights to learn about YouTube as well that were necessary. Um, by the time that finished, I was already back up and, you know, not needing a nap anymore. Um, so I started checking for this weekend because um, I'm going to have uh, this is o the last Oktoberfest weekend and it's the one that I usually meet up with my friends from Scotland that always go it's a gr whole group and we've been going to Oktoberfest together since 2000 2006 so it's we're almost at 8 no we are this is going to be the number 18 I think no well 2006 was the first one so this is going to be number 19 of us going to Oktoberfest together and hanging out and being there. And, you know, um, so I got myself a hotel for the for from Saturday to Monday so that I can spend time with them and not worry about anything else. So that was sort of like tricky, like which one am I going to go for? And uh, as you can imagine, Oktoberfest has different kinds of prices and to find the right one that was, you know, affordable and and you know in a good space for me so that's you know that's there and it's amazing and I'm looking forward to that um and to enjoy some time with my beautiful friends from Scotland and so that's going to be interesting for the vlog but I'll keep you posted on that but yeah so that was my evening you know I did some saging some cleansing you know um I have so many ideas of what I want to do but I had the inspiration the impulse to start to set up my um, 
my Patreon so that on one hand I can, you know, I can start filling it with content so that you can, you know, once it's ready so that you guys can come in and if you like to support me, come and join my Patreon page. Um, I've also decided to leave uh, the, how do you call that, like software platform that I have right now for all of my things. I have it for meetings, for website for everything and i feel like i need to i need to cleanse all that because it, it's you know it's pricey as well and i feel like it's not you know um i'm i think i'm done i think i'm going to be fine with a wordpress website and i'm going you know make it as simple as possible one of my favorite things that i've learned on my on my journey is keep it simple make it as simple as possible and so i'm simplifying my my own coaching business with you know going down with the website it's you know it's enough if i have a simple website it doesn't have to be a huge thing you know as long as you get all the information you need from me you know that's that's fine i don't need you know other special things um the one that i do have to think about is you know what what do i do with the emails that i have of course and with uh, everything else but i think patreon sounds perfect doing wordpress sounds beautiful you know if i ever need something to do dates you know there's calendly and so many other you know um um platforms that you can use and with ai what what else is coming right so there's there's those things that i have to do those are like yeah work related things i still have to haven't finished my taxes so i'm going to try to get some of that in while i'm doing my patreon side and that's it for today. Uh, today's challenge, sorry, from the Vlogtober challenge, today was uh, to show you a special place that we have, like where do, um, you know, a, a special place where we can go to that we love and why it's so important to us. And I actually wanted to take you on a walk, but it never, you know, the whole day just passed by, so flew by so fast that I will keep that one for another vlog day where I will take you with me on that very special place where I take my walks, where I get my inspiration, where, you know, I can do so many things and I love and I have had so many wonderful experiences with animals in the wild. So yeah, keep uh, I'm going to keep you on that one posted. Um, yeah, but that's it. Today is a little bit shorter. Yay, I made it a little bit shorter. I hope you enjoyed today. I think the cleansing ritual is a very good thing to do if you'd like to share. If you ever try those cleansing rituals, let me know because I'd really love to know how they make you feel. If you feel, you know, if, if it changes something in your energy field, if it helps you relax, you know, get closer to yourself. I would love to know that. Leave it in the comment. And... With everything else, my beautiful soul, stay magical. And as always, see you next time.